HERA stands for Human Exploration Research Analog. HERA is a three-story habitat which serves as an analog for human space research studies. The objective of HERA and other analog missions is to be a testbed for new technologies, equipment, and procedures before they are used in space. My name is Alex Diaz. I'm a senior project leader in the Human Exploration and Spaceflight Division of the Aerospace Corporation. Welcome to NASA Johnson Space Center. Behind me is HERA. HERA is an analog that is used to perform human research studies for deep space missions. As part of this analog mission, I'll be inside HERA for 45 days. During that time, we'll be performing an array of different types of research. Some of these include studies on behavioral health, which looks into topics such as group dynamics, isolation, and confinement. We'll also be studying human factors, which looks at the interface between the human and the habitat itself. We'll also be looking at medical capabilities, which talks about topics on self-diagnosis and treatment. And last but not least, we look into communication and autonomy, which addresses delayed communication, which occurs as the spacecraft goes further and further from the Earth. Once we enter the habitat and the hatch behind us closes, it'll close for 45 days. Once the doors are closed, we cannot exit the habitat for that duration of time. Level one is where we perform the day-to-day -day science and operations activities at HERA. Here, we perform plant biology experiments, geological samples experiments in a glove box, as well as flight operations. This is level two, it's called the living quarters. This is where we have the food galley, we have all the exercise equipment, and it's also an area where we can play games with our equipment. This is the third level, which is the sleeping quarters. This is the airlock. This is an area where we use to perform our simulated EVAs or spacewalks. It's also an area where we perform our medical and family conferences. This is the hygiene module where we have the shower and the restroom. As you can see, there's very limited privacy as can be expected for these space missions. What I like about working at aerospace and NASA projects is that I get a chance to participate in projects that are advancing human space explorations, such as the Human Landing System Project. I get to be at the forefront of uh, space technology, and most importantly, I get to work with leading experts in their field. I'm looking forward to spending time with my, with my crewmates. I've already met them online, mind you, but I'm really excited and looking forward to, to this mission.